Hey everyone, it's Emily and Matt. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, in today's video, we're sharing some new gear that we've purchased for camping with our teardrop trailer. We did a video about a year ago with more of the basic gear that we purchased right after we got our trailer. So we'll link that in the description if you want to check that out. This is really going to be covering um, some more of the specialty gear that we picked up along the way as we've really gone out and used our trailers. One thing to know, uh, we did a lot of winter camping this year and picked up some gear that's really more relevant to cold weather camping. Uh, we're not going to be talking about any of that today. We'll make a separate video just on kind of cold weather gear and tips and tricks. Um, I guess that's about it. So let's get into the video. All right, I'm just going to dive right in here. So, uh, one thing we're really excited about this year, chainsaw, getting our own camping wood, not having to buy it anymore. Uh, we went battery powered, has two batteries, should last the whole weekend or even more if we're uh, being conservative. Nice thing is we can also recharge these batteries while we're driving. And speaking of charging batteries, this Blue Eddy Max Oak power bank has been amazing. We use this to run our heater in the winter inside the teardrop and can actually charge these batteries as well as all of our camera gear and our fun lights we put up, pretty much anything else. So this year for cooking, we decided to go with a Coleman Triton stove, a little bit more space and just as compact, it's, it's wider but flatter, fits in our front box really well and still uses the same gas tanks. So we've almost ran out of gas a couple times at least, uh, so we decided to go with some uh, emergency backup fuel. Got this Rotopax for gas. It's actually gonna be mounted to the back of the Jeep on the spare tire. Be installing that uh, probably for our next trip and uh, don't have to stress that out anymore. So a couple final pieces to our cooking for the summer. We got a MSR pot. Uh, we just needed something a little bit bigger than our smaller mess kit for larger meals, cooking for more people, boiling more water. Also, we have a Stanley kind of all-in-one coffee press. So you can use this just to boil water or to prep your coffee in the morning. Fill it up with water, grounds. After it's boiled and sat for a minute, you just press it through very slowly. Top on, pour it out, you're good to go. So a couple of items that are really near and dear to my heart are the portable pop-up pod that we got. This is just a big privacy shelter. You can use it for changing, showering, kind of a bathroom setup here. Um, so this is really great, especially when you're boondocking, you just need some privacy. And then perhaps my number one favorite accessory that we purchased. Um, this is the brand, we'll link everything below, but it is basically a toilet seat situation so no more squatting this just folds out easy peasy cleanup and we bought some biodegradable bags that just fit around the seat and you do what you need to do and take that carry that out with you so again really great for when you're boondocking and you don't want to squat and dig holes and there you go ladies thank you later all right now a couple uh other miscellaneous items one thing uh, we're starting to use almost every trip when we want to leave the trailer and go explore is our trailer lock. There's all types of these and uh, this one is specifically made for this type of frame. You actually take out the yoke, put this in, lock it up, you're good to go. Also to, to keep our trailer in place, you can just find rocks or a piece of wood, but we got tired of doing that in some places. So we just got some cheap tire chocks, uh, really easy to find on Amazon, cheap and uh, really light. Just throw them in the front box. For our canopy, we found the sun wall that fits most Coleman canopies, which is what we have. We thought about this when we were uh, winter camping at White Pass Ski Resort. It was pretty darn windy, snowing hard. It would have been nice to just have a little extra protection. So we're gonna try this out this weekend, see how it works. And uh, in Washington, one thing we have to uh, look out for, not too often, but some areas is bears. So this is a just in case bear spray. As a last resort, of course, we do our best to deter bears, put our food away, put it in trees, 
run really fast. Just joking. Also on the emergency list is our fire extinguisher because you just never know. And plus, when we had our heater running in the winter, just peace of mind for us to have this handy. Final couple of items, really in no particular order. I organized this super good. <laughs> we, we actually just picked this up at, at a Christmas store of all places. Um, but we think it's gonna work really good. We love to put our fairy lights up with the camper. Um, and we only have two USB ports in the back. Yeah, I should say what this is. Um, it's a USB splitter. It does have uh, an AC-DC adapter. Um, but basically it's got one USB and then you can, it all splits off. So you can have as many party lights and, you know, have a rave at your campsite if you want. So if you need more USB options, might want to look into picking something like that up. Also the pop-up fire pit, we feel is going to be something more common in the future, just with uh, more and more fire restrictions, especially in our area in the Pacific Northwest, where, uh, there's no fire pit or you have to have an elevated fire. This is a way to get the fire off the ground, keep it contained. So we're excited to have this in our back pocket for future trips. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any gear recommendations, please leave those in the comments for the rest of us to check out. <laughs> it's a beautiful movie. Action.